producer of Little Frog, Ram Ace, Little Frog, Little Johnny Brown, Jay, Little Fuck You! Yeah, it's very funny. We we get this, uh, you know, on the albums. We, you know, the thing is that uh, the albums we did with Nico Elstrom, uh, who's in Entombed AD these days, uh, and used to play bass in Entombed. Uh, <clears throat> they were all basically recorded in a wardrobe, to be honest, or in rehearsal rooms, really small rooms, um, except for the drums on Hammer of the North. They were recorded uh, in a big studio uh, outside of the city, um, but all the all the other instruments had to be uh, replaced. Uh, so. When we worked with Nico on those albums, uh, we were kind of moving around in different, like studio setups, but also like more uh, rehearsal room setups where uh, Nico just brought his gear and we brought our gear, you know. And uh, we've had different names for that over the years. Uh, I think for Hammer of the North, we called it Studio Wahnsinn, which is uh, craziness in German. Von Sinne in Swedish. And then uh, we, we decided to call it Studio Supa, which is, Supa means binge, binge drinking in Swedish, you know, in not proper, you know, not uh, well behaved drinking, but drinking and puking and fighting and stuff like that. So Studio Supa is uh, it's more of a joke, you know. The, the mic we've been using is a Neumann TLM-103. Yes. Uh, and these, uh, this is uh, like a, a breathing uh, cover, but I believe these are the pantyhose of uh, Elgi Petrov's mother or something. <laughs> uh, and as you can see, they've been used. Um, By Elgi. Yes. <laughs> I mean, in that kind of setup with Nico, we did four albums, and uh, I think four very good albums. And uh, you know, we had a lot of fun, but it was also hard work. And the last, <clears throat> uh, most of the time, we were in uh, a place called Three Suset. So Studio Super was mainly uh, in Three Suset, and Three Suset is like a kind of a youth center combined school, combined studio, uh, rental place, stuff like that. Yeah, there were a, a lot of other bands rehearsing there when we when we got into rehearsing there. Uh, bands like Necrophobic and Dark Funeral um, and um, yeah, just a, a lot of Stockholm bands rehearsed there, uh, even though we we were past our youth, I guess. But, you know, it was a cool thing because I think the, the kids who were there and went to school and, you know, were skateboarding or whatever, they thought it was pretty cool to have, like, proper touring bands rehearsing next to them, you know. But uh, we got kicked out in the end, so there you go. Oh